All right, broskies, welcome back to another episode. A very serious topic, I think. It's all about one of my favorite silhouettes ever. The shoe, actually, right next to me. The Jordan 4. Is it dead? I think we've got a lot to talk about. Cue the EastEnders music, please. Now, as a lot of you may know, Nike do have a tendency. Is that a word? Tendency? Yeah, that's the word. <laughs> Nike do have a habit, that's the word I'm looking for, of when they get success with a shoe, you know, the Nike Dunk, the Jordan 1, they give us as much as they can give physically, and they're still giving, you know. Thanksgiving every month, baby. Every colorway you can think of, collab after collab to the point where they said they're not making more collabs with Travis Scott and a Jordan 1. Five silhouettes later, they're still making Jordan 1s with Travis. Anyway, people are starting to talk now about the same sort of treatment with the Jordan 4. And I get it. I get where everyone is coming from. But I don't think it's dead yet. It's on the verge of, and I think we are on the verge of, the Jordan 4 fizzling out just like the Jordan 1 and the Dunk. I think, personally, the Jordan 4 iconic top five shoes ever made, in my opinion, was my first ever Jordan as a kid. It's one of those things where I feel like, just like those other silhouettes mentioned earlier, they're not really checking for every release now just because there's so many. Like how many Jordan 4s are sitting at the minute? You wouldn't have said this two years ago, you know, maybe a year ago. And it was a bit weird to me that we got two OG colorways within a span of a couple months. The breads came out in February. These came out in May. You know, what's that? Let's do the maths. Three months, less than that. That was weird to me. That was weird to me, but I mean, what Nike seems to do, as most other brands, is they plan ahead maybe a year, two years, yeah? And I actually get an email every month because I am an affiliate partner with Nike. They send me every month what they're releasing for the next month. And if something doesn't line up or it's been pushed back, cue the hairline joke, <laughs> uh, they amend it. So I know what's coming out from Nike, from clothing to shoes and even like accessories and that sort of thing. A month in advance, in the UK anyway, sort of Europe as well. Yeah, they're well aware of what they're doing, possibly months in advance, a year, two years in advance. It's Nike, biggest brand out there in terms of shoes, clothing, that sort of thing. So they have to be. Where is a double-edged sword? Yes, they need to plan ahead to get it mass produced for everyone to buy the shoes and releases and stuff. But on the other hand, it can be played out and stretched out to the point where, all right, we're getting sick of them, but they're still gonna be releasing because they've planned ahead for, for so far. So far ahead, if that makes sense. I think next year, we've had talks of the White Cements making a comeback, which I'm so happy about. I think the Fire Reds will make a comeback next year too, because what what's that, four years? And it feels like every sort of four years, five years, we're getting the OG colorways again. I don't know where you can go from there, unless it's a hype collab, you know, like the Amaminiers or... I don't know, another union uh, collab with a Jordan 4. I don't know, like, where can you go from there? If you're giving us all the OG colorways in a span of a year, two years, there's only so much you can do after that. Yes, I know, the SB4s, I'm here for those, boy, please, because comfort level and the way they look. The only thing that doesn't make sense to me is the blue pair looks so close to the military 4s, the military blues. So... Yeah, it's, I don't know. I don't know where to go. But yeah, there's two colorways, two more colorways of the SBs that have been sort of leaked or spoken about. The blue ones and that sort of reddish. They look nice. They do look nice. I'll, I'm, I need, I'd miss that on the pine green. So I need one of those SBs. You just keep doing what you're doing with the fours. But after next year, 2025, just like a policeman, give it a rest. Yeah, give it a rest. Just give the Jordan 4 a rest to the point where we start to miss it. You know, a year, two years. Maybe you should have done that with a Jordan 1 and the Nike Dunk. But people who really want them now can get them. So there's that. And the sneaker community, the sneaker culture isn't as glamorized as it was during the pandemic and up until like last year. It's more like a niche thing now. Like the people who really were in it before the pandemic and are still in it now. The people who weren't as much aren't really checking for like sneakers as much as they used to. So it's a good time to be a collector. It's a bad time to be a reseller. But yeah, I think the Jordan 4 still has a bit of life left. Not as much as, you know, the height of it was maybe last year. The Jordan 4 could not do any wrong. Every colorway that came out, whether it was a standard GR, but people now, they're starting to think, I don't, do I need another 
colorway of the same silhouette in like 10 colors. Like personally, I've got about five Jordan 4s and I really like them. Now I've got these, the bread reimagined, Amaminia 4s, uh, the Midnight Navies and the Canyon Purples. I don't know if I need any more unless it's like one I've been hunting for, like the White Cements, for example. So yeah, it's one of them things. From my personal standpoint, I want to diversify my collection. I want to get different silhouettes. I think a lot of people are starting to feel that way as well. Unless it's a hype sneaker, unless it's an OG colorway, where do you really go from there? But yeah, I think Nike needs to just slow down a bit. Next year, give us the White Cements couple SBs, you know, maybe the fire reds, chuck them in there if you want, make them more comfortable than the previous version. They were very uncomfortable. I didn't get a, get a pair, but I have tried them on and nah, it was, it was too much for me. The Jordan 4 just needs to, like the Jordan 1 should have had and the Nike Dunk, just relax, just relax. You know how Nike do with Air Max sneakers, like the Air Max 1 went missing for years and now they're back people are really checking for them. Yeah, a couple colorways may sit here and there, but people still wear them and they love them. But yeah, that's my two pence broskies. I don't think the Jordan 4 is dead just yet. It is close to being there. It's not there, but if Nike do carry on, even next year, if they carry on with the Jordan 4, but they give us a sporadic set of releases that we actually want, you know, the OG colorways, white cements, fire reds, and the SBs, maybe one every three months, do you know what I mean? Like it makes more sense than every single GR colorway in between where, mm, did we need them? Did we want them? No, it's just one of them things, broskies. I think I'm talking from a selfish personal standpoint. Some people are probably sick of the Jordan 4 by now, but yeah, it is what it is. Let me know your thoughts down below. Is the Jordan 4 dead or not? Should Nike relax with the Jordan 4? Should they keep making the Jordan 4 and all these other pointless GRs that we don't really need, in my opinion. And what other sneakers do you think Nike needs to sort of re-release or just actually rest as well? Like, should the Jordan 1 just not be <laughs> not be coming out as much as it does and the Nike Dunk and so on? Leave it all down below. Like, comment, share. And of course, until the next episode, take care.